Hello and welcome to another video by www.electricalpereview.com. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing load sharing with two transformers. If two single phase transformers with equal turns ratio are used to share the same load, find the current contribution from transformer 1. If the impedance of transformer 1 is 4.61%, the impedance of transformer 2 is 7.26%, and if the load current is 900 amps. So we look at our equivalent circuit over here. We have IL going to the load. Our I1, which is our contribution from transformer 1. I2, which is our current contribution from transformer 2. And we have a transformer with Z1% impedance and a transformer with Z2% impedance. So using nodal analysis, we know that for this point right here on the circuit, IL has to equal the sum of I1 plus I2. So we go back to Ohm's law, we know that current I is equal to voltage over impedance. And since these transformers have an equal turns ratio, we know that V1 equals V2, which equals V. We're going to substitute that into our equation here. We're going to turn I1 into V over Z1 plus I2, which is going to equal V over Z2. We add these together, and we can simplify it as VZ2 over Z1Z2 plus VZ1 over Z1, Z2, and we can add them up to equal our voltage times the sum of Z1 plus Z2 over Z1 times Z2. Now remember the problem is asking for the current contribution from transformer 1, which is essentially this current right here. Well, remember, in our first two steps, we set I1 equal to V over Z1, which we have right down here, V over Z1. So we can set this equal to as our load current equals I1 times the fraction of the sum of the impedances of both transformers over the impedance of the opposite transformer Z2. So we set all this equal to our I1, which is equal to our load current times Z2 over Z1 plus Z2. And now we plug in our values from our problem statement. We have a load current of 900 amps times our impedance of transformer 2 and we're going to use the we're going to use the decimal values not the percentage 0 0.0726 over 0 0.0726 plus the impedance of transformer 1 which is 0 0.0461 and we do the math 550 0.46 amps and that is our current right here for transformer 1. Now let's do the same thing over again but this time let's solve for I2. Say now that the question was actually asking not for the current contribution of T1 but for T2. Okay, we begin just like last time. We know that IL equals I1 plus I2. We know from Ohm's law that our voltage, we know from Ohm's law that our current equals voltage over impedance. And we know that since they have the same turns ratio, our V1 is going to equal V2, which we're going to set equal to V. So again, just like before, we have our load current is equal to V over Z1 
plus v over z2. We combine these two terms, and we have v z1 plus z2 over z1 z2. This time, since we're solving for i2, or our current contribution from transform of 2 right here, we're looking for the term v over z2. So we set our load current equal to IL equals I2 times Z1 plus Z2 over Z1. We set this equal to I2, and we have I2 equals our load current times z1 over z1 plus z2. We plug in our values and we have our load current equals 900 amps. We multiply that times z1 which is 0 0.0461 over the sum of both impedances 0 0.461 plus 0 0.0726 and we carry this out and we come up with I2 equals 349.53 amps. Lastly we can check our work since we know our load current and we just found I1 and I2 we can say that since IL equals I1 plus I2, if we add both of our transformer currents that we found in both parts, we should come up with 900 amps. So we have I1 equals 550.46 amps, and I2 equals 349.53 amps. We add these together and we come up with IL equals 899.99 amps or our load current equals 900 amps, which of course checks out perfectly. Now last part of this problem, we solved for I1, we solved for I2. What if we were actually asked to solve for our load current and instead of giving our load current, we're given say I1 or I2. We'll go with I1. Now, how do we find it? Well, just like before. Well, just like before, we start with IL equals the sum of I1 plus I2. We use Ohm's law to have IL equals V over Z1 plus V over Z2. We combine that to have IL equals V Z1 plus Z2 over Z1 Z2. And now we know that this is I1's term right here, V over Z1. So we can set this equal to IL equals I1 times Z1 plus Z2 over Z2, and since we're searching for this time the load current, we plug in our terms. We know I1, if it was already given to us as, we know it to be 550.46 amps, since we already solved for it. We plug that in here, 550.46 amps, and then we multiply this by the sum of our impedances, 0 0.0461 plus 0 0.0726 over Z2, 0 0.0726. And when we multiply this all together, we should come up with our IL, which we already know to be 900 amps. So we plug it in and we come up with 899. 
0.99 amps, which equals, of course, our load current of 900 amps. Okay, that's it for this video. For more examples and to visit our premium review course, come see us at www.electricalpereview.com.